Hi, this is Gali Kofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote is uh, an English proverb that says, The darkest hours are just before dawn. Now this quote, I love this quote really very, very much. This quote is one about hope. And I know it is hard to have hope when you are in your darkest hour of your existence. To even think for a minute that things can get better may seem practically impossible at certain moments in life, but things do eventually get better. It's like a wound that heals on the body. At first when we see the wound, we don't have a clue of how we can fix or heal it. But we all have this internal wisdom that allows our body to take over and heal itself. Now, even while we are in difficult situations, we stay there and we fight through them because deep inside us, we do have hope that something will get better for us. This hope gives us the motivation to continue down a path towards a better life for ourselves, even though we are not sure where exactly it will lead us or how to get there. We know that we have internal guidance and most of us have the belief that everything really is for the best at the end of the day from a bigger world perspective if we look at things. Now, I remember hearing uh, a very nice story that is suitable for this uh, quote. And it's a story of a young man who met a wise, wise old man. And the old man gave this young man a ring. And he said to him, uh, he's, the old man said to the young man, you wear this ring wherever you go. And if one day you will be stuck in the lowest point of your life, then and only then open the ring and it will save you. Wow. So the young man was very, very pleased with this gift and he continued to lead his life as usual. Then one day he traveled to China and while walking in a market, he was robbed. His passports and all of his money were stolen. And the young man was so depressed, he did not know what to do, and nighttime was falling. He was exhausted with no money and no, no food, no money for food, no place to sleep. And so he decided to go and sleep on a park bench. Um, so while deep in his sleep, while he was sleeping, suddenly he was awoken by a policeman. And since he did not know the language, uh, they did, the policemen didn't understand what he was saying and they didn't understand his body language, which is very different in China. And he felt threatened by uh, this young man, so they put him in prison. Now the young man was so depressed, he was sitting on the floor of his uh, cell, prison cell, and suddenly he noticed the ring on his finger. And he remembered what the old man had told him about the ring. And suddenly he had hope and he said, oh, I am at my lowest point at this moment and I do need the help of the ring. So slowly he opened the ring and inside the ring was a small scroll of paper. The young man, excited, slowly opened the scroll and to his amazement it read, this too shall pass. <laughs> now this is, uh, this is the lesson. Everything passes everything goes away everything changes look at if you look at your life in retrospect i am sure that you can think of a time when things seem, seem to be impossibly difficult for you but somehow you did get out of those situations when we are in situations that leave us no choice we tend to have the best ideas and find the best solutions and we become really resourceful and find a way out of the situation all we need is hope. And this was the point of the ring, to remind the young man that there is always hope and if he can get his act together, the current situation will, come, will become a stepping stone for him to a better, happier life. Now most of us don't accept change unless we are in a very difficult situation that leads us to make the change within and become better human beings. Not everyone is willing to do this work on themselves when everything is going fine. But it is the hope 
that we have deep within us that comes out in difficult situations that allows us to tap into our inner reserves and this inner guidance. And once we open up a new reserve that we have inside us, then it is there for our use forever. It is another tool that we have added to our toolbox and it is there for us to use forever. Now, having hope has allowed me to believe that my situation would get better in many times in my life. For example, after my first marriage, hope allowed me to remarry even while I was raising my two uh, uh, disabled daughters. Although I did have doubts in my mind that someone will want me in my situation, deep within me I did have hope and this hope uh, or belief allowed me to fulfill that dream at the time. Now, having hope also allowed me to keep on trying to find ways to earn a decent living when my financial state was a mess and I could not find uh, a work that would accept me with the difficulties that I faced almost every single day uh, due to the health state of my daughters, especially with their epilepsy. So I became an entrepreneur and I found my gifts that allowed me to earn a lot of money even though my personal situation was difficult. It was also hope that allowed me not to start chemo and radiotherapy when I had cancer, but to go down a natural path and heal my cancer, even though it was against the doctor's orders. Hope brought me uh, last week to the day that my daughter, one of my daughters, uttered her first word, mama, at the age of 21. Uh, so hope gives us the motivation to go on and keep trying even when everything looks really bad and grim. Now, I love this quote so much. Uh, the darkest hours are just before dawn. I, I, I even, I loved it so much that I even had my wall in my kitchen uh, painted uh, with sunrise, a, a painting of a sunrise, rise, uh, the colors of the sunrise with the quote in the background. Because at the time, I needed to see this quote every single day to remind me that things will get better. Now, it did take time. But since this belief formed my expectations and what you expect out of life you tend to get, my life slowly transformed. So let's move on to the question you want to ask yourself today. And the question I, I recommend is where in my life do I currently feel in my darkest hour? And what are the tiny baby steps I can take today to help me transform my situation to a slightly better one than yesterday? Once you answer this question, it will help you transform your mindset to focus on the solution rather than the problem. Now, as always, I suggest you write down these baby steps in a notebook you have especially made for these coaching videos so that you can move your life to a better and happier place for you. So let's move on to the affirmation of the day and it is very simple and it says good things are happening to me. Tell yourself this as many times as you remember to do today. Good things are happening to me because with repetition an affirmation has the power to alter your subconscious mind and have you uh, think and uh, behave differently to uh, form a different life for you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the content and have a wonderful day. Also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com where you have lots of programs on health and weight and anything to help you reach your goals. Uh, thank you very much for joining.